This video is for the fifth grade website project assignment three. First, you're going to go to weebly.com. You'll have a button that says edit website. So it might look a little different. Yours will say edit website in white. Okay, so then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new tab and you're going to search for pictures about your location. So for example, I'm gonna search um, Freedom Trail. And then from here, what I'm going to do is click on images. And then I'm going to find an image that I want. So um, basically what I'll do is I will click on the image and I'll bring up the larger image, two finger click on your touchpad and choose save image as. Then from here, what you're going to do is click on Google Drive and then click on save. Next, what you're going to do is repeat that until you have five images. So we'll say at this point that I have five images. Once you have five images, you're gonna click back over to the Weebly tab. And then you're going to um, scroll down just a little bit so that you can see your text and you're going to drag a map over to the right hand side. And you'll notice that it lights up with a blue line right there. Next, what you're going to do is add a slideshow underneath the map. Um, so you're just gonna click and drag the slideshow, or actually we're gonna put the slideshow on top of the map. So see how it lights up with a blue line above it? Um, that's what you wanna do. So then what you're going to do next is choose a slideshow style and click on continue. Then from here, you're going to click on upload photos from your computer and um, you'll click on Google Drive and then it should come up with the photos that you just saved. Um, and if it doesn't, what you can do is click on date modified and it puts everything in the order that you've saved it in. So anyway, I happen to have um, my five pictures right here. So you're going to hold the control key while you click on those pictures. And what that will do is it will allow you to select um, multiple pictures at a time. So you wanna click on all five and then click on open. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to add captions to your photos. So you do that by clicking on the speech bubble. So for example, this right here um, shows the state house. So I'm just going to type in um, state house so that way people know what I'm showing. Um, and same thing for all the others. So you'd click on save. Um, speech bubble, again, just add a little caption telling what you're showing and save. Um, and then um, we're just gonna do that for all of them. And so again, it's the save and then speech bubble and save. And then once we have added captions for all of them, then we're going to save the whole slideshow itself. So um, that would be the save button up in the top right. Next, what you're going to do is open a new tab and you're going to search the address of your location. So for example, Freedom Trail address. And then from here, what I'm going to do is copy the address um, that appears. So here's an address. Um, so I'm just gonna click and drag to select it and then hit Control C on my keyboard. Um, and then from here, what I'm going to do is click back over to the Weebly tab and I'm gonna scroll down to my map, click on it. And then from here, what I'm going to do is um, it's gonna say San Francisco, California. I'm gonna click and drag to select that um, so that it no longer says San Francisco. And then I'm going to hit Control V to paste the address and then if I click anywhere um, kind of on my map, it'll update and it'll show the address. And if I just click outside the map, um, then it'll hide that. Um, so now we actually have the address. And the last thing we're going to do is click and drag a text box under it um, so that we can just simply type the address as well. So you're gonna click where it says click here to edit and then type in address, um, whoops, hold on. So. Just gonna type in address and then um, paste the address, control V, and that's it.